Welcome Jim and I. Okay, so we are going to be looking at um, messages from Spirit for you. Okay, using the postcards from Spirit, Whispers of Healing, and the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's get into it here, Jim and I. Okay, Spirit, what would you like to say to Jim and I? is flipped up here okay Gemini here is your postcard from spirit delivered to you Gemini dearest you there is only one you and you have a unique path and a special purpose you're supposed to have specific experiences in this world and meet certain people. But then it is up to you how you live, how you how awake you choose to be, and how willing you are to grow and strip away what's false. Don't compare yourself to others. It's easy to think a person is happier just because the outside looks good according to to society standards but you can't know anyone's internal experience compare yourself only to your past self see how far you've come don't be distracted by what others are doing or accomplishing stay focused on what inspires you that's how you get successful and find happiness. Want what you have now, not what someone else has. We love you immensely and know your journey ahead is sparkling with miracles and wondrous things. Trust. Loving you forever and ever. That's so cool, Gemini. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, okay, Gemini. It's really about you being, oh, what's this one? Barriers. Oh, okay, barriers. I wonder if Gemini, there it might be the case that some of you feel like you can't reach certain highs, heights because of this, that, or something else. But those may be just barriers in your mind. Those barriers also may be holding you back. But there could be things that are barriers in your life to achieving certain things that need to be overcome. And this could be part of your journey in this lifetime. Um, there may have been obstacles that you've had to overcome. And um, again, this has been that, you know, like they say, right? You're supposed to have specific experiences in this world and meet certain people. But then it is up to you how you live, how awake you choose to be and how willing you are to grow and strip away what's false right so yeah I mean realistically only you are going to know in your situation Gemini how that applies right and um, how you yeah how that is impacting you really Okay, so we've got our first card here for barriers is laziness, okay? And um, this card here, Gemini, it's sort of like, it's sort of like getting to the finish line, but not crossing it. Because...
what I'm seeing here is someone running on a racetrack, right? And they have to do 10 laps to get to the finish line. On the ninth lap, there's, you know, the hurdles that people jump over in the race. And they weren't in the first nine laps. And on the very ninth last lap, there, there's hurdles there for you to jump. And it's sort of like going, oh, well, I've done nine laps. So that's cool. I'm not going to do that because there's hurdles there to jump. You know, and, and this is what I feel like this is sort of um, representing, um, in a sense, that to not let barriers get in your way. To not, because it's sort of like um, sometimes we can tend to not attempt things because it's like, oh, well, there's this and then there's that and then, you know, all these other things. And so I think it's important for you to be aware of how it is that you're sort of like allowing these barriers to stop you from going forward. Okay, the other one is comparison. This does not surprise me that this has come up after that message from Spirit. Not at all, Gemini. I don't even know if I need to talk about this card because to me it seems super obvious, right? But understanding that your role in this world is so crucial and I feel as though some of you feel like compared to everyone else, you, you're minute and you don't matter so much. But I want to say to you that you matter just as much, if not more. Um, I feel like for some of you, you feel like maybe the feeling I'm getting is that it's almost like your life is sort of pointless. Gemini, don't compare yourself to others. It's easy to think a person is happier just because their outside looks good according to society's standards, but you can't know anyone's internal experience. So yeah, we can make all these assumptions about what things are like for other people, but you know how it is, and you've experienced it before. You think someone's, you know, something, someone has things that are really amazing and then you find out that actually things have been really tough for them you know um and and they weren't as they seemed so in that regard and it's the same for you gemini someone could be looking outside of your on the outside of your life looking and going oh my gosh i wish i had gemini's life they're so lucky and here you are feeling like, oh my God, my life is crap. <laughs> I wish I had that life because they're so lucky, you know. And so in that regard, Gemini, I feel like this is really, um, you know, this is about this choice of how you want to see things, how you want to see your life. And really getting real with yourself and honest with yourself. Is this the life that you want? Are you truly happy? And if not, what are you going to do about it, right? And regardless of what's going on, what, oh, I've started to shuffle and I haven't even got onto the second card, sorry, getting carried away here, carried away, you know, and, and, and what are you going to do? What are you going to do to change that so that you can, because, it, the, you know, you uh, the power is in your hands, Yeah. Okay, so we now have this card, which is Give Back. Okay. <laughs> um, give back, Gemini, to yourself for a start. Because there's this sense of always giving to everyone else. And it's sort of time to give back to yourself. Um, giving yourself the time, giving yourself the nurturing, giving yourself the caring, giving yourself the loving. Everything that you give to everyone else, you need to give back to yourself. Also, when others go to give that back to you, receive it, Gemini. Accept it with grace and know that you're deserving of it because I don't feel like you really believe you are deserving of it. And, and the funny thing is, Gemini, it's sort of like you want that to happen. You want people to come and give that to you. And then when they do, you're like, 
you put these sort of barriers up, right? I'm like, oh, that doesn't feel comfortable for you. So, yeah, that's really interesting. I feel like it's sort of time for a bit of an awakening here, Gemini. Like, I feel as though this is calling you to go, remember, everything is in your control. And if you want to remain... Um, not seeing things for how they truly are, then your life is going to reflect that result, okay? Um, letting go, giving back and letting go. <laughs> um, and we've also got postponement here. Let me just have a moment with these cards here. Yeah, um, there's this definite need to, oh, there's just so much in this card that I'm seeing. I absolutely adore these illustrations. They are amazing. I feel like there's, there's needs to be some sort of movement in your life, movement forward, and there is movement, movement there for the taking, okay? Um this give back is about you giving to the world the gift of your presence, okay? Um, I feel as though, because there's, it's sort of like you have the opportunity to sort of put yourself out there in a sense or at least um, go on a particular journey and yet you're kind of settled. It's like you've created this life and you've settled for that, believing that that's all you're worth and that's all that's going to be for you. Like there's no point trying now because this is it. But there's so much more, Gemini. Um, and I feel like that is a result of... Um, a myriad of things that have happened in your life that have caused you to feel like you're not worthy, that you're not enough, and that you don't deserve the best life has to offer. Because it's kind of like, well, it feels a little bit like there's this mindset of, well, if I was meant to receive that, then it would be me in that position rather than that person over there. Um but it's up to you to create that, okay? And even though that person over there may have what appears to be like the dream come true, and it, it may seem like they don't necessarily deserve that in your eyes, something inside of them believes they do, which is why they've been able to create it. So it's a matter of you letting go of this belief that you don't deserve it. Because ultimately, I think deep down inside, that's what it is for you. Okay. Um, yes, definitely. And that's what I feel like this card is reflecting here. Because it seems like everyone else has this colourful life here and there's this bland life or this this it's like this life that you dream of or that you wish you could have that feels sort of unreachable for you in a sense you know and and the thing is it's not unreachable it is it's it's there it's right there but the perception is what is stopping you. That's the barrier. I suppose, Gemini, it's looking at what those barriers are that are stopping you from reaching that life, right? Being honest with yourself. Being awake to that. How awake do you want to be to that? Yeah? And it's hard. It's hard to be honest with ourselves. It's hard to see how it is that we're creating our life, um, especially if it's not something we're happy with, you know? Um, yeah. Hydrate, which is interesting to come up. Um, it was underneath the Give Back card, and they sort of came out together. These cards, the Whispers of Healing, are completely brand new. I flipped through them last night to have a look at them. Um, 
and yeah um i but obviously look for some of you you need to drink more water okay you need to hydrate this could be impacting your thinking um and it could be the, yeah this may help with your health okay um it's also sort of like being in a dried up pond that you know the pond could um be full of life and full of water clean clear water but it's it's not it's I don't know, there's just a sense of this cleansing that's needed. And maybe that's within your body. Maybe you need to drink the right amount of water every day to cleanse your body. Okay, so that is definitely something that you'll need to look at. And that may help things feel a lot clearer for you, Gemini. Okay, um, hydrate. Tell me more about hydrate. Tell me more about hydrate. This could be... Sorry, that was too many cards. I've got change here. Um, and so I feel like this could be about you making lifestyle changes that are going to serve you. Okay, it could be that some of you aren't happy with your body or, you know, something along those lines. Um, so this could be the first step that you take to changing that. And hydrating is so important for us. Okay, um, the next card we have here is schizophrenia. And there's this hanging in the balance here um, and some of you there's a choice that needs to be made okay there's change in the air and um, I just wonder if this is what hydrate is representing this is going to um, add a different dimension to your life okay um, which is is a good thing Gemini, I think you settle. I think you settle for less, and I do think you're worth more than what you believe you are or you allow yourself to receive. Okay, so next card for Gemini, please. Gemini, please share these videos so that um, these messages from Spirit can, can get out to whoever needs to hear them. Okay, and subscribe and like and do all that stuff so that we can help other people together. Okay, so we've got the next card here we've got two cards jump out upside down so I don't know what they all, both are yet answers within oh Gemini I love this this is beautiful see this flower here this came out in another reading I think it was um Taurus actually um and I didn't really look at the card <laughs> I mean I looked at it but I didn't go right into it um but see this flower here? It's like within the flower is a whole world. And coming out of that world is this person with this light here, with the candle, right? Leading the way, guiding the way. Okay, and, and this is representative of these answers being within. This decision that you need to make about this change that is occurring in your life, um, it feels really daunting for you. And I kind of wonder if, if some of you are not too sure which direction to go in but um because of the fear of the change actually i feel like gemini and um the the thing is that it's very important for you to go within and feel it out what feels right to you what feels like you know imagine your life with one of the choices and what does that feel like the other choice do the same imagine your life having made that choice and what does that feel like one of them is going to feel like, make you feel sick, and you're going to go, oh god, I couldn't stomach that, that's the choice you don't want to make, okay, the other one is going to be like, this is what makes me feel better, the only thing I want to say about that is being mindful about not staying in a comfort zone, and stepping out of a comfort zone, okay, because I think this is still important for you to do, Okay, um, so if you had, say, the choice of, for example, two people in your life, say it's a relationship, and you could either go with this person or that person, right? It might be what looks good on paper and who makes your heart sing, you know? And so 
that's really about going within and feeling that out, Gemini. It could be about a new home, a new job, whatever, Gemini, okay? But just, yeah, you know how it applies in your life, okay? So tell me more about answers within for Gemini, please. I've got one flip over here. Where is this? Projections. What's the next card for answers within for Gemini, please? Thank you. That's upside down. So let's talk about projections here. Yeah, see, this is these feelings of feeling absolutely petrified inside about um, anything, any changes, <laughs> about anything out of your comfort zone. Okay, and that's understandable. Like change isn't always the easiest thing, even if it's a good change. It's still scary. You know, it's still a sense like there's an element of anxiety, there's the unknown, you know, um, but honestly, Gemini, I think there's, there's the need for you to understand that the answers are within and to know that you can trust yourself because I feel like some of you have lost the faith within yourself. It's sort of like, a bit like getting stuck in a rut kind of thing and um, and not believing you can do it anymore in a sense, right? And you can look back on your life and see all these things that you've accomplished and achieved and how far you've come and yet there's this sort of um, position that you're in now of kind of going, oh God, I couldn't do that. And, and compared to everything else that you've achieved, this is just, a teeny weeny little speck in the whole scheme of things, you know. So, um, yeah, I feel like that's important for you to reflect on so that you can see, okay. And the answers within is, you know, this, um, there's, there's this space inside of you, Gemini, that holds all the wisdom and everything that you need to know about everything, Okay, so it's really important for you to tap into that. Have a look at meditations on YouTube. Um, find ways that, you know, there might be other ways that you know of that will help you tap into that. Meditation is not the only way. It's the way I like, but you might find other ways for yourself, okay? But, you know, this is also about this happily ever after. And I feel like this is what you really want, okay? But... Again, there's this internal stuff inside of you that is preventing you from getting to this harmonious state in your life. And you can have that, whatever your circumstances are, you can actually achieve that har harmony within, okay? Um, but I do feel like this, with this projections card here, there's a sense of some of you taking on board other people's projections in the sense of other people's um, well, put it this way, it's like someone sends you something or say something nasty to you and you put it in your backpack and carry it around Okay, and it's it's actually about when you're in this harmonious state, other people's projections are not going to impact you. They will just bounce off of you. Okay, and when you're not in that state, those projections you're going to take on board. Okay, so be mindful of that, Gemini, and see how you can actually change that. And this other card here that was upside down is meditation. So there we go. It wasn't just me. Meditate. <laughs> Okay, um, this is really going to help you, Gemini, help you get into this harmonious state. It's going to take you on all sorts of adventures. It's going to help you to work out what you like, what you don't like, what feels good, what doesn't feel good. Okay, um, so look up guided meditations on YouTube and um, and that will take you on some journeys. It will also help you to quiet in your chattery little mind okay not little I didn't mean that as like you've got a little mind but your mind that goes you know you know what I mean Gemini um yeah so you know it's sort of like Gemini if you're in I see this card as someone say being in um 
in a place, a land that's really, really hot. And so they go into meditation and imagine themselves, you know, going through the snow on a sleigh and, you know, like playing in the snow and all that kind of thing. And, um, you know, to enter another world type of thing. Okay, so, yeah. Tell me more about meditation for Gemini. Well, two cards. Whew. Abundance. We've got abundance. Yeah, see, this is you. <laughs> I love this. Hang on, Gemini. Let me get the other card. There it is. Okay, so abundance. Yes, and we've got experiencing here. Perfect. These go perfect together. Look at this dude here, right? He's on his magic carpet floating along, right? This is what you can do when you're meditating, imagining you have all the abundance in the world and everything that you could ever possibly want, okay? And really, truly experiencing that within okay um and and this is what meditation will most definitely help you with okay it's, it, you can go on all sorts of little journeys and explore what you like and what's going to happen gemini is as you do that you're going to want to explore that in your real life because it feels so good when you're doing it that you're going to be like oh, i want more of that like let's do that again and then you're going to want to go on real life adventures you know um and it's it may make you or it may help you with the confidence to actually step out and do those things and get excited about your life you know excited about these changes and um looking forward to that okay so we've got compassion this is the last card here compassion okay so gemini man compassion for yourself first and foremost for yourself Gemini because um I don't really feel like you give yourself much compassion um the other, yeah sorry with this um you know when you're looking at how far you've come and the things that you have been through Gemini I think it's very important for you to be compassionate with yourself rather than just kind of like going nah that was nothing nah, you know that person's been through worse or that person's been through worse please don't minimize what it is that you've been through okay understand that it was just as huge for you if someone came and told you the story of what you have been through as though it's them, you will be like, holy macaroni, how did you get through that? But then when it's you, you're like, eh. you know, um, and I feel like in some sense, there's a little bit of denial about what it is you've been through. And I feel like you need to be super compassionate with yourself. And that may take some time. Um, but and it may will definitely take practice if that's not something that you do okay um, it's also about being compassionate to other people around you and what it is that they may be going through at this time okay and understanding that sometimes some people just aren't in a good place Gemini I've had cards go flying I'm gonna have to pause you there was too many cards so two cards for compassion please Two cards for compassion. Here we go. Perfect. Two cards together. I love it. Yeah, control and clinging to the past. Okay, so um, I just wonder if... I, th I really feel like there's some deep diving that needs to be done here with yourself to... Um, To really, really look into why there are things that you do and the reason for them. Okay, um, I feel as though also there may be someone around you or maybe people around you who are quite controlling. Okay, and um, I suppose without letting them control you, having compassion for why they are the way they are okay that could be something that's quite important for you Gemini and it may be quite difficult for you to do um, but just try to have that understanding for yourself so that it's a little bit easier for you to work through okay and clinging to the past here you see this is what I was talking about before pretending like what you went through was nothing that's like eh, it's fine like you know look what's happened I've got this out of it now 
you know, I'm fine. But it really, actually, inside, all that stuff still happened. Okay, so, um, yeah, I think that that's also very important for you to start looking at, Gemini. Okay, so let's just reread your postcard from Spirit. My dearest to you, and I like to do this in light of what's come out, okay? Dearest you, there is only one you. And you have a unique path and a special purpose. You're supposed to have specific experiences in this world and meet certain people. But then it is up to you how you live, how awake you choose to be and how willing you are to grow and strip away what's false. Don't compare yourself to others. It's easy to think a person is happier just because the outside looks good according to society's standards. But you can't know anyone's internal experience, right? Compare yourself only to your past self. See how far you've come. Don't be distracted by what others are doing or accomplishing. Stay focused on what inspires you. That's how you get successful and find happiness. Want what you have now, not what someone else has. We love you immensely and know your journey ahead is sparkling with miracles and wondrous things. Trust. Loving you forever and ever. I will leave that with you, Gemini. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.